Welcome back, everyone. I recently got a System76 Gazelle workstation. I've had my eye on this for a long time and wanted to see what a truly integrated Linux desktop would look like. What I mean by that is System76 computers come with a modified Linux operating system pre-installed, so they're basically built for Linux. Going on speed and power alone, I'd give it a big thumbs up. It's exceeded my expectations. I'm able to get more done faster, and I'm confident it can take whatever I throw at it. So overall, I'll say I'm happy with it. But it's not perfect. Perfection is a lot of little details done well. That is where the laptop starts to fail. Perfection is my little ThinkPad, which never crashes and always works. When I click on an app launcher, the app launches. When I unlock the screen, I'm able to interact with the desktop and keep working. These might seem like obvious points, but trust me, when these little niceties stop working and you're just trying to get some work done, it can start to be a chore. As you may already know, the System76 laptops and desktops come with their own distro called Pop OS, which is basically a Debian-based operating system, very similar to Ubuntu. There are some things Pop OS does terrifically well. For instance, my Wi-Fi printer worked instantly without any setup. Pop OS detected the printer right away, and I could print with no problems, except sometimes it decides not to print for some reason. You can't have everything in life. Also, my Wacom tablet worked without any configuration required. There's also built-in settings for it, so I can program the buttons without having to write a custom bash script. That all being said, there seems to be an inverse relationship between the big ticket gains in speed and performance, which are really great, and the little conveniences that are strangely lacking. One of the big draws for the System76 laptop was the NVIDIA graphics card. You can choose whether you want to use the integrated graphics card, the NVIDIA card, or sort of a hybrid. When I switch to the NVIDIA card, however, the computer freezes. So for now, I'm using the hybrid mode, which is fine. Uh, but I'll have to do some more research into that problem. Sometimes when I click to launch an app, nothing happens. Sometimes the desktop doesn't fully wake from the lock screen and I have to force a hard reboot. The system update notification says click here to view updates, but when I click it, nothing happens. Also, the fan noise is incredibly loud. And again, I understand there's a lot of horsepower here, and I appreciate that. But the fan is so loud that if I'm watching a video or editing a video, the fan will completely drown out all the sound. I have to put on headphones. But if you're working in a noisy environment like a coffee shop or at Meta, this probably won't be a big deal. Again, these are the little nitpicks, but it's strange that a system that does the big heavy lifting so well seems to lose out on the tiny obvious things. The Gazelle is highly performant and a real workhorse, but it's not quite as reliable today as my old ThinkPad. But I'm sure with time and more software updates, it'll get more stable. Well, that's it for my review. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them below. I'll talk to you all next time.